Hey, Francis, how are you? Hey, Scott, I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Excited for the festival. The, the launch was very, very good. And excited to see your film. Uh, it you. looks fantastic. Uh, how have you taken to the kind of the people getting excited for it already? Because the, the buzz around it seems to be growing every day. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 um, it, I think it's very unique, though, in, in these times, because obviously um, I haven't really seen anybody or been anywhere to interact with anybody. So um, the, the only time I, I think I realize that there's a buzz about the film is um, when somebody rings me up and tells me because I, I live quite a remote life. I live in a wooden hut on the side of a hill in Yorkshire and, um, and, and you know, obviously don't really interact with uh, the film community up here, uh, just, just farmers. And so um, it, it always takes me by surprise. So it's, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it looks like, a, I mean, we've seen the trailer. It looks like a, a wonderful film, a really personal film, a really important film for many, many reasons. What was the kind of uh, the genesis for you? What was, what, why was this your, your second film and why was it this particular story? Well, it was really discovering, um, reading about Mariana uh, by accident. And, um, and the things that really struck me about her were the fact that she was a working class woman born into poverty with virtually no education. Uh, or advantage, um, who rose to being, albeit unrecognized, what we would now call the, le her, the leading paleontologist of her generation. Um, and that really struck a chord with me. You know, I obsess about class and gender and representation. Um, and there was this, this working class woman in a totally patriarchal, class ridden society um, who, who uh, achieved so much. I knew I never wanted to make a, a biopic, you know, um, and there is virtually nothing written about Mary Anning personally. Um, again, probably because she was a working class woman. Um, and so Mary, the, the Mary Anning that I wrote um, is very much like a vision of her as I saw her. I'm sure you could have lots of visions of her, but it's very much a personal take on, on who she was. and. Um, and also, you know, to look at those things like class and gender um, and disadvantage. Uh, Phil, obviously, in your first one, you had Josh and Alex, who were just extraordinary. Have now gone on to an amazing thing. Alex, obviously, is supporting in this one. This one, you have Kate Winslet and Saoirse Ronan. How important is casting for you? Because regardless of the names or who they are, it must be for you about the right people. What made them to kind of write for, for this one? Yeah, actors are super important for me. You know, they, they, they're, um, I love actors i love working with actors i love transformative actors people who play people who are different from themselves emotionally and physically and so casting is super super important um, and um and both kate and Sersha, you know were top of my list i was very lucky that they both accepted and i was very honored that they both trust me enough and wanted to work in the way in which i like to work which is a very detailed immersive character driven way and obviously for you, I mean, a film like this, the festival uh, platform is such an important thing, regardless of, you know, what names you have, everything else. For a film like this, a festival platform is is kind of essential. I mean, how important is it for you as a filmmaker to to, to, to have those those platforms for people to be able to see these movies that perhaps, you know, they wouldn't get a chance to see any other any other way? I think I think the film festival um, is an incredibly important part of the film industry. You know, particularly this year has been very difficult. Um, Ammonite was selected at Cannes, which got cancelled, and then at Telluride, which got cancelled due to COVID. Um, and so it, in, in one sense, it's been quite frustrating. But in another, now, when, when we have this wonderful um, UK premiere at London Film Festival and the international premiere at Toronto International Film Festival, um, I, I'm excited for people to see it and have access to it and um, nervous. But excited very excited well we're excited too hopefully we get to talk again closer to closer to release uh but thank you for your time and i uh, hope it all goes well for you thanks ever so much thanks Have francis cheers thank you bye ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys